Hello everyone and welcome back to a new plan with me. So this time it's for the month of June and for this month I chose the theme to be coffee and I know what you might think. It's June, it's summer, why do you choose something like coffee? Because coffee almost always is a theme you do in autumn, like October or September. But I don't know, I don't want to do a theme just because of the season and because I have to do a lot of uni in June and also the weather is not very summery yet. So I don't know, I just thought that maybe coffee and like the productivity it comes with could be like the theme for this month. Especially because the past month I started to drink more and more coffee, so usually I am not a big coffee drinker But because uni has gone a little bit crazy for me and I have to get up very early and have to do a lot of stuff I drink it more and more and so I just thought that it might be a cute theme and I also like like the brown colors and stuff I know again not very summery, but Anyways, I think it still is a cute theme. Also, I don't really know how long my coffee addiction will last because I'm usually more the tea type of person. So here we are. And yeah, as you can see, my cover page is just a circle in which you can see a cup of coffee and a book again with this whole productivity and cozy and chill vibe that I was going for. I also added some crafting paper and some cute matching washi tapes. And also then I added a lot of doodles and coffee beans were like my main doodles I did. And yeah, I also chose this specific lettering for the top because I think it just looks a little bit cooler. And just in general, I really think that this theme turned out really cute and also it is a very easy theme, I would say. So it's something that everyone could do, obviously someone who likes coffee. <laughs> but like the doodles were really easy because as I said, mainly the coffee beans and they are really really easy and yeah for the cover page you can also do a lot of different like coffee inspired things and now for my quote page i chose a coffee themed quote of course and it says coffee in one hand confidence in the other and this goes as well with like the productive theme that this coffee theme goes with so like studying and stuff and I have to get a lot of things done because as I was searching for coffee quotes I found a lot of quotes which were like I can't live without coffee and as I already mentioned I'm more the tea type of person so I obviously can't live without coffee and so I just like to drink coffee sometimes but I didn't really think that it would match for this theme so if you're really a coffee addict I get that and maybe these quotes would match more for your theme. Now for the monthly overview, I kind of wanted to branch out a little bit last month and I did it again this month. So it's again like the usual spreads I do, so a space for goals, some space for me to plan some Instagram posts and hopefully some YouTube videos and also a calendar and stuff, you will see that all. But again in a different style than I did this past month because if you haven't seen it already, um, the first month of this year I basically did the same monthly overview over and over and it worked pretty well for me but it is a bullet journal and I want to be a little bit more creative and try out different things and so here's again a completely different layout with completely different boxes and I think it turned out really cute. And because I have to study a lot this month and get a lot of things done, I thought that for this month I would do a bigger calendar. So normally I'm really for the minimalistic calendars and I don't really write that much. But for this month it is bigger. It's still not as big as some other people do it. But for me it is a quite big calendar and I think it looks just perfectly on these pages and it's very cute and hopefully I will use it <laughs> as much as I think now. And also here you can see the doodles that I did this month. So it's mainly like coffee beans, some yellow hearts. I have some branches here and there because I think plants are something that goes with literally every theme and some sparks. And on the bottom of this page, we have again some space for the numbers that I track off Instagram and also a cute little sticker and another like little quote you could say it says we are the perfect blend it sounds very cheesy I know but 
it goes with the coffee. Now for some more fun pages, I guess. So the first thing is my habit tracker and I use my habit tracker way more often than I did these last, I could say, years. <laughs> and I really want to keep that up. So it's again a different habit tracker and this time it's less habits than I would normally track just to switch it up a little and see how that will go. And yeah, I just think that it turned out really cute. I like the whole layout and how it looks like and yeah, with the coffee and I don't know. I'm just in love with it. But then for the other two spreads on the other page, I chose to have like some blank space because for one, I don't really know how to plan out yet my studying. So I just have a space where it says study plan and some doodles and for brain dump, it is usually just a blank space. <laughs> so that's all right there. So it's nothing really too fancy that I can show you, but it has some cute doodles. So yeah. So and last but not least, I'm going to show you the weekly spread. And I am very sorry because as I was recording this, everything worked out fine. But then in the middle of me filming, my storage was full. So at some point you will see the footage just stops. But it is not that bad because it was just doodles that I did until I noticed. And then I was continuing to film. So I hope it doesn't bother you too much. And whoops, here was the jump that I was talking about. And yeah, just as you can see, my whole weekly spread, I chose some different colored brown pens. And I just have, again, a space for my to-do list, which is colored in brown, so you can still see the black pen on top. And then I just did some like normal hand lettering, you could say, and some like brown for the background and also some black circles where I can write in with the white gel pen to add the numbers of the week. And for the different days I did boxes because I don't know but the last weekly spreads that I did all had boxes because I think it looks so clean in the end when you write inside of them. So I don't know, boxes are something I'm really in love with right now. And in this weekly spread I used again some cute coffee themed stickers and some washi tape and if you might have noticed in this spread I also did again these coffee bean doodles but in, for the weekly spread they have different colors so it is a little bit more I don't know colorful if you can say that with brown <laughs> And for the right hand side it's nothing too fancy it's just a little doodle of again some coffee some iced coffee and a quote which says my coffee is strong and so am i again the confidence and the power like productivity quotes <laughs> i think it sounds sometimes a little bit cheesy but it's okay <laughs> And also we have again some space for goals because I really love to set myself some weekly goals and even if I don't achieve them I just have like a direction and I just know where I want to go this week. And for the final touches I'm just adding again some space for my routines. I do that every week too because I really try to have a morning and evening routine which is kind of hard for me because I'm not that much of a routine person but I will get there at some point. You will see that hopefully <laughs> and yeah it's again just another cute quote which says this time a winner is a dreamer who never gives up and again some more stickers and doodles and yeah so this is the weekly spread and I think it turned out all right I think it looks good but I don't know if I love it yet I love some parts of it but I don't know if the brown will grow on me but we will see and now for the final flip through. So here we are. You can see again the cover page, which I really love. <laughs> and then we have the monthly overview, which I also really like. And I think it is very cute and also a little bit minimal. <laughs> I don't know. Then we have the habit tracker and some planning space for me. And last but not least, we have the weekly spread, which is very, very brown. <laughs> And yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you liked it. And yeah, tell me what your theme for June is going to be in the comments. And tell me if you have ever done a coffee theme. I'm really curious. <laughs>